So guys, moving on from last night, uh, we ended up staying in some crazy ass lodge. It was more than a lodge, it was just a glorified shed, but even that's putting it politely. Um, it was absolutely awful. We didn't bother, bother recording any kind of shit in there, it was just pointless. Um, we didn't really get an awesome night's sleep to be honest with her. But yeah, as the clip I showed you in the video vlog, um, we're back on the dead baby um, story again. So this place where we're at right now, this is the mother and baby home. And this is where um, the kids went missing. Um, they, were, they were sent to America and stuff like that. They were adopting them illegally. Um, obviously they were taken from here and sent like 60 miles away to a place called Twam. And that's where the, the clip that I showed you of all the, the 800 um, bodies that were found in a septic tank basically came from this building. ...of nearly 800 babies and infants. The children died whilst in the care of Catholic nuns at a mother and baby home between 1925 and 1961. As Sue Lloyd Roberts discovers, some are now calling for the latest inquiry by the Irish government to have a wide remit to cover all the institutions run by the nuns. We're currently trying to find um, the place where there's all the nails in the wall which basically mark the... Um, all, all, the, all the deaths and babies and stuff like that, where the priest was actually putting them in and counting the dead. So, we'll see what happens. The discovery that some 800 babies had died at a former mother and baby home run by the nuns in Ireland, and that their bodies had been put in unmarked and horribly inappropriate graves shocked the world. It's a sewage tank. Why are there children buried in a sewage area? The religious orders are back in the spotlight. The government has called an inquiry, the sixth into what went on behind convent walls. They took my life, they took my human rights, they took my hair, they took my clothes, they took my name, and they also took my daughter, which was the worst of all. So right now on this, this door, someone's actually left baby's shoes on the door handle. Check this out. There was thousands of babies born here. There was hundreds of them died, and I remember the nuns carrying down the little brown shoe boxes to bury the children. And when the workman buried those little babies, he put nails in the wall to represent each child he buried. Right, so I'm going to go check if anybody's home. <laughs> Yo, the, door, the doorbell still rings. Good. Yeah. <laughs> There's nobody home. The door is this is too weird this. So basically there's whole lights on inside the building right now. I've just seen fresh laundry in the basement section of this hung up with the lights on. It's an absolute mess inside. This is so strange. So we're just checking out this part of the building. We've just come to these windows, and someone's literally been stood at most of these windows, scratching with some, and on the inside as well. Check this out. It's like inside and outside. This is so weird. Someone's actually stood there, scratching the windows. What is that about? They're all over the windows. It's just so weird. But well, this is 100% abandoned. But they've actually got fake flowers in one of the win windows in a plastic bottle with water. <laughs> like, who does that? So we've just been around searching the grounds for the nails in the wall, but unfortunately we cannot find any of that stuff. 
But what's really weird is the, the leads are actually taking us to this place and it says they're around here somewhere. But <laughs> I don't know, it's just a wild goose chase at the moment. But we're not going to give up, we're going to keep looking to see what happens. So I think we're onto something here, we've tried a different route. Um, so we're hoping the wall's going to be down here with the nails on. I think it's happening right now. A lot of research we've actually done. Um, it's basically leading towards down here. So, fingers crossed, we found it. We could wrap this case up. <laughs> Yeah, this is it. This is the gate right now. So no wonder we can find it because this is literally out in the in the way, big time. We found it. Jesus, it's only taken how long? <laughs> four days. It's taken four days in total to actually uh, figure out this. So the nails are said to be in the wall that marked every death of the baby's children. So let's have a scan. So it's quite obvious what's going on here. This is resembling obviously all the horrific deaths that have taken place throughout the Magdalene laundries and from the main building, the mother and baby's home, abducting kids, sending them to America and adopt, obviously illegally adopting them and obviously murdering them and taking them away. That is, that is absolutely crazy. It's very dark to actually think about this. And obviously this was going on since like the 19, 1950s, I think it was. 1930s. Shit. When it was only like two years ago, it's actually come to light properly, hasn't it? Well, there's 14, 14 different mother and baby homes being investigated. And they say, as an estimate, 5,000 children were killed between the time that the Sisters of Mercy and the system, sisters who run all these homes um, kids died, so... Mad. And um, it was actually said that, you know, the people that were working in laundries and stuff like that, they used to go, have to go to church and basically sin, didn't they? But obviously they didn't have no sins. It shows you the times are different, like this woman had a maybe a one night stand with some guy and she falls pregnant and she's the one who's punished by putting inside this home that then has to give birth, give her baby away, go and work a life of slavery while the baby has a high chance of dying via these sisters, so it's mm. bad time. But it's mad. And obviously they had nothing to sin. It was obviously the opposite way around. It was, it was the priests who, who, who had to sin because they were pretty tell much murking up all the babies. I'll tell you what, right? You know what annoys the hell out of me? You've got people these days, these these people that are triggered by, by stupid, stupid little things and you've got these women that are, like, these feminist women who, who get offended by anything that, that a man says when, you know, everyone's, everyone's equal. There's no, there's no kind of sexism in the world these days. It's, a lot of it's all hysteria. But when you've got, look back at the past like this and, and you see the way that people were treated and, and the women were treated, now that, it's a sad time and that's a time that a lot of them should look back at and think times are good now. No, oh, yeah, of course, 100%.
So I'm thinking obviously all the years of doing crazy stuff, documenting places, panel investigations, urban exploring, documenting all the decay and stuff like that. Um, you know, working on different stories and stuff like that, but this is, you know, this has got to be the darkest story I've actually worked on um, in the whole time of doing this. You know, we're looking at this right now and it's just a really dramatic, dark reminder of obviously what used to take, take place in the Magdalene laundries. It has a weird feeling as well, it's just, I don't know, like there's a lot of, I don't know, it just feels like a very, very negative place right now. So tonight brings us to the Hellfire Cup. We was actually going to do this on the first day, and do the explore, but no, on our last day. I'm going to do a bit of an investigation at the Hellfire Club. I'm going to chop the video, make sure you check it out when it comes out. Right, so we've just done Lift Spirit Box at the Hellfire Club. Make sure you check that video when it comes out. It got a little bit intense, I'm not going to lie. Shit me up, my name was coming through the Spirit Box. As usual, more than usual to be honest with you, uh, me and we did, did the Spirit Box. We absolutely bricked ourselves and we've just, we've just come that down now. Half an hour trek down this place. Getting in the car, we are leaving tomorrow. This is, I am sure it's been, been, been a mad one. <sighs> Shit, my heart's still going. So, as per bandits, this is finally, the end of the trip. Last moments for we right now. Is it gonna happen now? No, it's not happening, mate. <laughs> yeah, make sure you go check out Wheaties channel as well. Alright, I never really know. Exploring high times, check the links in the description, also dance channel, exploring fighters. Yeah, it's been a mad one. It's been, been interesting. Well, that is it. Damn what your thoughts on this road trip right now. Thoughts on the road trip. Oh, you see if you've got your extension. Oh, you've my thoughts on the road trip. It's pretty, pretty shocking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we all agree on that. Mm, it was pretty dire, The it? last day was the best day. Yeah. But only because we scared the shit out of ourselves in the forest at one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> you, know, you know what? These things happen, guys. You know, sometimes we have failed, sometimes we don't. It's like part of a road trip, mm. I suppose. No, it's just what happens. I mean, we, I got like four videos, um, which is, how long was it? Six days? It's, yeah, it's six. Not, it's not great, because uh, when I was here last time, I did I recorded like six, I seven been, man, videos in one day so it's like uh right well i'm literally we're at it so mm. yeah i mean we did that did yeah, obviously did the cover i can't get my words out lack of sleep that's what i was doing to me we only got we only we covered that story the, the um the baby's one there that was interesting the house with the door slam shut that was good yeah that was good the hellfire at that was interesting. And the asylum that we snuck into that was still being used. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was good. That was interesting as well. Well, yeah. No, but apart from that, it's not. It's not. It, apart from that, it's back to right, the grind. Anyway. One of us is going to die in these trips. Genuinely, they? someone's going to die one day. Genuinely, mm. yeah, they are either either in one of these locations or on the road to the location more than mm. that. Yeah, things are good. The problem is right. Is like we, we record these videos and like. Like, especially me, I feel like I've got to better myself all the time, and I'm doing more dangerous things and more daring things, and we're all doing it. We're Stuff all doing that you'd have never done one thing Never time ever. Ago. But when when I've got thousands of people behind you who are kind of pushing you, I want to see this content. So it make it kind of it gives you the drive to go and do it. Mm. But one day someone's gonna die. Yeah, we just yeah. need to get down on a plane now. Well, that's the one thing that. Maybe maybe I'll get on a plane when I get to a million subscribers. And that's about it. <laughs> Phone, Carl's phone's ringing again. Yeah. Oh, oh, it slowed down. It's, <laughs> it uh, slowed down. What happened then? What? It went all funny. It made me just 
Well, yeah, that is it from the road trip right now. Leave a comment down below. Oh, do that is it from me. If you know any locations, well, hit us up. Hit us up. Let us know where you want us to go. If you've got any locations, drop a comment as well. But apart from that, I'm out. I'm knackered. I'm going home. I'm getting sleep. I'm done with this road trip. Like, comment, subscribe. I don't remember falling over then. Shit. Jesus, we're proper swaying in, man. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. And I I'm get seasick. Oh, I just had spinning. The marine engineer. <laughs> the marine engineer that used to fix boats gets, gets seasick. How do you work that out? No, I just, oh, bro, I'm not even being funny. If I spew up spinach lasagna all over you and chocolate fudge cake. Why do you think I'm up here? <laughs> I'm safe, me. <laughs> it's, I've got a feeling of projectile vomit. I'll hit the ceiling. <laughs> oh, I'm, the one on the, I'm the one that was sick on the last trip here. And I'm on the top bunk, boys. Do you know what? I'd be surprised if I'm the next victim on this. Shit. I'm getting this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're on it, boys. <laughs> Can't go on for shoes, <laughs> Oh, and by the way, this is this is uh, this is my mother's laptop that I'm borrowing. It's Shit. Not, it is. Because my alienware is broke. <laughs> Sure. There was thousands of babies born here, there was hundreds of them died and I remember the nuns carrying down the little brown shoe boxes to bury the children and when the workman buried those little babies he put nails in the wall to represent each child he buried. Still a bit. <laughs>